we are with Representative Tina Orwell from the 33rd District. You have been presiding over the House floor quite a bit this session, and you have been passing a whole bunch of bills over to the Senate. You have worked on suicide prevention a lot over the years, and so can you talk to me about what you're doing this session in that regard? Yes, well, there's a number of really important bills. I've worked with University of Washington Forefront and Higher Ed on ways that they can make campuses safer. Some of the next steps we need to do is we need to train faculty and we need to train students so that they know the signs and symptoms of suicide. We need to increase the mental health capacity through either partnerships or just adding additional counselors. Right now, students are waiting a long time to be seen, and we know when someone's in crisis, they need to be seen that day or the next day. So we're really going to try to bring those additional resources and the skills and tools that universities need to save precious lives. And specifically in this subject, there is a bill that you actually got very excited about when it passed, the Drug Take Back Program. Yes. Representative Strom Peterson, one of my colleagues, has been working really hard on a statewide drug take back. Certain counties have implemented this, but it's incredibly important for so many reasons. One, almost all households have unused medications, and often they don't know what to do with them. These could be at risk for children, they could be at risk for youth, they have what's called farm parties, P-H-A-R-M. I know parents have lost kids from this really dangerous activity, as well as those at risk of suicide that could be a means. And so by getting those drugs out of the homes and safely disposed, we really can keep more kids and youth or people at risk safe. You know, they've been trying for many years to pass it. I'm just so proud we were able to move that, and I hope it gets to the governor. And moving on to a different subject now, I would like to ask you about your no-contact order bill. What does that do? Well, unfortunately, our state has one of the highest rates of trafficking. Most of that's minors. The average age is 14 years old. And what we find is, as these young youth try to get out of this really exploitive industry, they're often threatened. The pimps or people that have been exploiting them come back after them. And so this allows them to be protected and we are making sure that police can actually arrest the perpetrators who are trying to break those orders so that that person is safe.